Hello everyone, welcome back on the channel. Uh, welcome back to another tweak slash modding video. So today we're gonna be talking about MSI utility. What is MSI utility? What does it do? Should you use it or not? What are the benefits? What are the negative side of it? And you know a little bit overview of it. So first start with the description like what does it do so it's basically uh, manages your input devices latency like you are using a mouse you are using a keyboard for gaming so also you are using uh, another three to four type of device for suppose like uh, a network adapter like a LAN, LAN wire uh, a sound output some webcams maybe some microphone some lighting usb etc so what this app does is uh, prioritize your mouse and keyboard so that uh, these inputs are taken faster than any other device so your gaming input latency would be uh, a little quicker so this will be helpful for like the esports player who play a lot of esports game like csgo valorant apex call of duty single player uh users will also benefit from this but it will not be much noticeable in single player games so <coughs> first let me show you that uh, if you have your uh, msi uh, activated or not like uh, the by default it uses an interception called inline inline projector or something uh, so how do you want to check it you want to go to my pc then right click it on manage then after that you come to device manager then you click on the view tab after clicking device manager you click on the view tab then click on resource by type and in the resource by type you want to click the input request so this is mainly uh, for the gpu because the gpu is the important part of the gaming but you can also do like your keyboard mouse uh, with it so yeah i'll show you every step uh, also this video is uh, inspired by corvitech if you don't know he is a big youtuber uh, he does uh, very various kinds of like pc tweaking and stuff but in that video i found some steps missing so i thought i'll give it another uh, remake type of uh, thing and we'll be like uh, we'll talk you through a bit uh, his video is very fast and he didn't show every step in it so i'm gonna show every step what are the benefit what are the negative side of it and yeah this is gonna be a little bit longer so try to hold on uh, so after clicking on interrupt request you want to scroll down to your graphics card's name like for me i'm using an nvidia rtx 2060 so after you find your graphics card uh, you will see a number uh, in between the brackets like if your number is positive then your msi utility is not activated but if your numbers are on negative like uh, this number can range from minus 41 to minus 85 i think so if your number is on negative then uh, your msi is already activated and no need to touch anything so how do you activate it uh, after checking that you can just close the window then you need to download this zip from the link in the description then you need to extract the app it's very small like few key kilobytes i think yeah 45 kb so it's just a tweak it's nothing heavy software or anything so you want to right click on it then click run on administrator after the window opens uh, you want to look for your gpu uh, which will be at the end of the page like right here so at uh, when you select the gpu there is a lot of things no need to get confused i will talk you through about it this is the msi tab like is the msi activated or not msi stands for message signal interrupt like how much quick it uh, takes the input from that device so you need to tick the msi and after that you can try one thing this is experimental like you can go to the interrupt priority like how fast do you want your device to be recognized uh, by default it will be set to unidentified you can do one thing you can try the high and play some games so after clicking on high and clicking on apply you can play some games if you see any issue like uh, input lag or like lagging the game then you want to set it to identified again but if you see like you are getting benefit from the high then you should leave it on high but don't uh, forget to tick this uh, msi uh, tick because this is this is like uh, you have to take this in terms of 
uh, to make the tutorial or mod work so do take this uh, and try with uh, this identify or unidentified and high setting so after that uh, you can click on apply and now you can also use this for your input device also so right now you can see here uh, you want to find the um, usb controllers like here uh, these are the usb controllers like uh, which my mouse and keyboards are connected this one this one this one also got like i got uh, three to four uh, usb uh, port connected right now so this one it is not at actually it is nvidia usb not this one actually these three are the like my connected devices one is a webcam and rest of two is like keyboard and mouse so yeah uh, you can also so by default this will be ticked i think if it not tick then click on the tick i mean check on uh, turn on the check mark and after that you can uh, experiment with high so yeah i'm gonna don't double click on it uh, i'm gonna check on high and test some games and after that if i find that like uh, laggish or anything then i'll turn back to the identified again so yeah uh, usb things are on high gpu priority is on high after that click on apply and now you want to restart your pc so i will come to you guys after restarting and sh show you again like how is it working or not so i'm i have restarted my pc and now i'll show you if hat has been activated or not so we want to go back again to that uh, my computer management like this pc after that manage then device manager then view resource by type then input request scroll down and yeah but you will see that uh, a minus has appeared I'm like a number with minus so right now it's minus 41 so this uh, GPU's input uh, like uh, commands are being taken as fast as it the PC can so if you have a good cpu then it should not have any problem but if you have a low end cpu this might cause some jitter or some lag so in that uh, case you want to turn the high priority off like you want to go back to that again and you want to turn the high priority to unidentified and then click apply and then restart again so yeah now i'll show you some gameplays uh, it's not uh, like anything super uh, skillful like i'm just gonna show you some gameplays and yeah this will be it uh, if this helps you uh, subscribe to the channel if you want any help in this guide do comment below and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers so i am showing you here some apex legends gameplay uh, but I'm only using single shot weapons like wingman, bow check and everything for those who know uh, apex plus will know these weapons so uh, I'm showing only single shot weapons because I wanna show you guys like the uh, input latency and you know the consistency of uh, aiming and everything I could have used an auto but uh, you wouldn't be able to like detect the input latency and everything so yeah enjoy this gameplay and do subscribe to the channel if it helps